This is CFM56-5B, which you know from most of my videos, and it belongs to A320. And today I need to replace low pressure oil warning switch, which is over here. So let's take a look at it. So all the CVs are pulled, so we can proceed with the removal of the low pressure warning switch. It's uh, covered under insulation. So first thing, what do we need to do? We need to remove the insulation. And... It holds basically only on lock wire, so that's a easy thing. Now, the electric connector. <coughs> okay, it's loosed. Great. Connector look good. Let's put it on the side. And we plug the Connector on this end. Wow. Good. So finally the insulation is out. Now we can move the other part of the insulation away. That's one. Second one. To check it with the area, which area you measure? Yeah, and area B, A, area B, and it's 76 yeah, and millimeters. Or? Area A to B, yeah. Yeah, 76, 76 millimeters. millimeters. 2.99 inch. Well, I'm almost, almost ready to removing the connections. Uh, I have all the plugs which are necessary for this. So let's start with the first one. Yeah. But there is no... Okay. There is no oil, but still, it's important to plug it. This way you will avoid debris to get inside. Next is the other one. Oh, from there we're gonna have some. So let's plug this. Not really sure, but so if not, uh, could you uh, write a word for that? Yes. Okay, Perfect. Okay. And also for the. Uh, Last plug. Great, so as you can see, there was not that much oil, but it's always good to be prepared. Anyway, let me tell you what this is good for. This pressure switch is here basically to tell us if there is pressure or no. So if the oil pressure drops below uh, 13 psi, it will close. And it will gonna give us a warning on the cam low pressure. If it then raise over 16 psi, it will open and warning disappear. It's that simple. Yeah, that's it. So we have three screws out. And yeah, that's it. We need to clean it. Okay, so uh, I finally remove also the 
insulation platform from the pressure switch and we can proceed with the installation of the new one so uh, insulation platform go underneath we need our three bolts and yep we can proceed with installation insulation platform our pressure switch and the bolts so the first one bottom one Okay, uh, it's not completely tight. I'm gonna retie them a little bit later, but I wanna have a bit of uh, free movement to, for the pipes to install them. That way, you have uh, uh, more possibility to move it around, and the unions will fit more precisely or, or easier. Well, let's uh, start with the pipes. We'll install them on the unions. And when I'll be sure that they fit, uh, I'll of course uh, tie the bolts. So. so on. This pipe is in. Now. pressure line great it fits now we're gonna torque the bolts it's a very small, small torque for you so Great. Uh, so the the pressure switch is tight on the place. Now we need to torque the um, torque the unions of the lines. You're ready for line torque. That's one. Good. Okay. Great, so pressure switch is on the place. We can apply the torque seal. Let me pause it for a second and tell you what is torque seal good for. We are using it as a torque losing indicator. Thanks to this we immediately recognize any losing of a safety relevant screw or unions. Okay, that's all about that and let's go back to our video. Mm -hmm. Since torque seal is applied, we can install the electrical connector. Yeah, this way. Okay, connector is flushed. Now uh, I'll call B2 uh, guys. And they're gonna perform a resistance check on uh, this uh, pressure switch. And after that, we can apply a sealant 
all around and yeah then we need to go for a uh, leak check which means engine run and when leak check, the leak check is done we can install the insulation a few moments later okay resistance checks pass so we can apply the sealant on the bolts and uh, on the surrounding of the heat shield so let's do that You can see pressure switch is on the place, uh, torque seal is applied, it is sealed all around and of course uh, torque seal is also on this pipe because we, we lose it here and we remove the whole pipe but yeah now it's almost dry so we'll go for a leak check and then when everything will be okay we will install insulation before we go out i need to just close all cps closed and whenever we finish everything uh, inside and out we will push airplane out and we'll perform good enough this is video from different engineer on but at least i can show you how indication looks like engine oil indication you can find on lower ecam you can find here oil pressure and above it is oil quantity and as you can see oil pressure numbers are still in red because whenever oil pressure is below 13 psi we have low oil pressure warning indication and when it raises above 13 psi oil pressure number change to green 15, 15. Good. we've been uh, very uh, busy at the morning so I had no chance to record it but as you can see insulation is already installed as I told you before it holds only on the lock wires and yeah which means that leak check has been performed successfully and this will lead us to the end of the video uh, if you have any questions please write them down in the comments below uh, as always, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for the maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer. That's all from my side. Thank you for watching. My name is Tomasz. This was a recommend maintenance with Zeto, and I'll see you next one. Bye.